is going to be a drum chart tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make a drum chart. Here we have a song, a chart. We already have a guitar chart, so we already have the tempo map and we already have the time signatures and s sections and whatever. So we just go to uh, press F8 and then we have the expert drums track. So now uh, we wait for the drums to begin, and uh, it just so happens that uh, I have a guitar profile with the drums, and uh, it's very accurate. So I can just copy over from the guitar pro. So uh, one thing you should note is that the colors do not match the colors in game. So if you want to put the bass note, you need to put the green note and then uh, you have the red, yellow, blue and green. But they are in the correct position and then this is the bass. So uh, we're gonna start off by listening a little bit. Okay, so um, I mean, if you don't know how to read the Guitar Pro stuff, you can just play it by ear, and uh, you can hear there's a bass here, a crash, and some hi hats. looks pretty good so we're just gonna keep going in that uh, so I'm just gonna look at the guitar pro and uh, it's gonna tell me what notes are being played but uh, you won't always have a perfectly accurate guitar pro so you might wanna uh, listen to it and then uh, make adjustments as necessary but uh, for now we're just gonna speed through the process we're gonna keep uh, adding to the song and then uh, we should have a finished product pretty soon there's a new riff here And uh, this is just the first part of the charting. After this, I'm going to go to a different program. And I'm going to show you how to, to turn the regular drum chart into a pro drum chart. With double bass and the cymbals. Everything uh, is going to be like the pros do it, pretty much. It's going to be perfect chart. <laughs> The snare and the red and the hi hat and the yellow, I think it's pretty standard stuff. You could change it, I mean, it's it's just, uh, I mean, you could set the drums up any way you like in real life, so you could simulate uh, the snare being on the, on the blue. On the Do whatever you like. I mean, if if you're the one charting, you're making the deci decisions. Could make the chart of your dreams. So the reason I'm using this program is like I can use the the keyboard to put the notes so I don't need to break my wrist clicking all over the place I can do this it's a very quick method of uh, charting
you mess up, don't need to worry about it because you're gonna go through the song after you charted it and then you're gonna correct the mistakes there. We're just gonna speed through it right now and then we can we can always fix it later. That's why you play test. So I mean when when I stop like that I forget where I am in the song. But uh, you just gotta stay in the group. So till now we've just been placing uh, eight notes, but uh, if you need to change the, the step so you can place uh, quicker notes, you just use the arrow keys. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's a great program. I think I'm here, so let's keep going from there. Just kind of bugging out there. But, uh, just gonna catch the errors. Basically, I use the space bar to start playback, and then you use the space bar to start playback. So if you just want to listen where you are, make sure you're not doing it completely wrong. So you can just listen to it. Oh, I forgot where I was again. See, I messed it up, but the uh can correct it since uh, we're still making the chart so it's easy to change. Next page. Got a different section here. Gonna arrange it for the for the game now. It's another trick here that I'm gonna show. If you hold shift, press up. You can uh, copy paste. Like you can select this bit and then you Control C to copy. And you go to the bit you want to paste. Control V. And now you have that bit. So you did the. You didn't have to put all those notes again. But it's not completely accurate, so we're gonna fix it again. Let's 
looking pretty good. Let's keep going. This is a different part. Gotta keep that in mind. fill so we're gonna transcribe that as best as we can it looks good there's another button I'm not sure what button it is on your keyboard but I'm a uh, Show my keyboard here if it's gonna let me. This button here, it's not very bright, so it probably doesn't look like that on your keyboard. That's the button I'm using to uh, spread the notes out so I can see what I'm doing. And you can see this. Uh, it's that simple to put and remove notes. You just press the, these buttons, switch to the other, other chat, see what's going on. You can change the difficulty by holding, uh, I think, Alt, no, Shift. And you can do whatever you want very, very quickly with this program. You can change the tempo with these buttons up here. No, that's not it. These buttons, these buttons, then. Whatever those are. But then we already have the tempo map, so we don't need to mess with it. Change the time signature down here, and uh, I'm gonna just keep charting. Let's see where we at. It does not completely accurate, so let's fix it. It's pretty much the same section as before, so we can just copy paste. I know this song, I know that the change is right here, so... So uh, another one, you press uh, the line key, I think. If you're not sure what's being played, you can go to this button here. It's gonna slow the sound down for you. So that's gonna make it easier to pick out what notes are playing, if you're not trusting your guitar pro. Let's, let's try it out. Guitar Pro says where we are. That sounds pretty spot on, doesn't it? We probably need to change that instrument. So here's a double kick. Let's 
the new section. It looks a lot like the old section. I feel like I might have messed up all the earlier parts. So let me just look at it. Okay, so uh, this is the bit I'm just about, it's the uh, bass in that. I don't think there's a bass playing at the same time as the snare, so I might cut that green note out and then we have the correct chart here. We're gonna do that a few times because I messed it up a few times. So we need to fix it every time. pretty good so let's figure out where we left off yeah, that seems to be it but that's a different part here Sounds like there's a double. So let's figure out where we are. There's no double kick apparently. That's a new bit. It seems to be this bit right here. Let's figure it out. section it's pretty straightforward just doing the same thing we were doing before
So now we're going to look at the Guitar Pro. I guess this uh, tremolo picking on the bass bass drum here. You can't really see if it's on the bass drum or if it's on the hi hat. You can always listen to it. Right. So you can hear two bass hits. So that's gonna be two green notes, a bit faster, and not in that area. It's a bit confusing again. You can always listen to it, but you can also you can see the thing I'm doing. I'm looking for this symbol right here. If it lights up, then that means it's a tremolo picking section. It's it repeats a lot. That's the difference between uh, tram picking and non tram picking. If it has that symbol, you just play it as fast as possible. Typically, in, uh, if there's one bar, it's eight notes, two bars, it's six beats. And uh, three bars like this, it's uh, 20, 30, no, 30 second notes. So where am I at? It. What am I looking at here? Once again, we're very fortunate to have the guitar profile, so I can just keep going without stopping. And I know whatever I'm gonna put is gonna be correct.
have a new element here with very quick snare hits. We're gonna do it without the quick hit first and then we're gonna add the quick hit later. Later being right now. So let's check it out. good so uh, this is the last last part of the song almost done Missed the space there, but uh, I caught it, so it's not a problem. There's something crazy going on here. That's going to be difficult to play. That's it. Now we're gonna go through the whole thing. We're gonna see if uh, we made any errors, and then we're gonna fix them before moving on to the next step. So uh, we're just gonna sit back and uh, well, we can't really relax yet. We gotta focus on uh, on the task. So. <laughs> a bit that's how it is but if you ever in doubt just uh, stop the recording go back listen to it again and uh, then you can fix if it's wrong but it wasn't it was uh, spot on so let's keep going <laughs>
hit something down? Let's actually pull the guitar pro back up and figure out where we are. This area of the sound. There's nothing wrong, but uh, you know what they say, better safe than sorry. Doesn't look like uh, there's anything wrong. Just thought I heard something different, but I didn't. Alright, let's check that again, because uh, those were double kicks. I wasn't paying attention, but uh, it looks good. This is the same part again, I feel like I'm hearing two kicks. I think it's just one kick, but uh, you gotta double check it if you wanna make a Good. I was kind of looking for a mistake, but uh, one of the common mistakes is uh, mixing the, the green and the orange because those are the colors used in the like in the drum chart. You have the orange ba bass pedal, and uh, the fourth button is green, but it's the reverse in this program. So, um, one last thing because before we move on. We're gonna add the star power phrases to the song. We're just gonna copy them, the guitar part. 
So we're gonna look for them. And we're gonna mirror them for the for the grunts. We just throw in some quick star power so uh, the player won't get bored when they play in the song. You don't have to follow the other tracks, you could place the star power wherever you want. But it's basically you press the, the 8 key and then you drag, drag it with the... While you're holding the 8 key you, you just press the arrow keys and there you have it. It's that simple. Okay, we're ready to move on. Gonna find the next program. Save the chart, of course. Press the S button. Usually it's gonna make a sound, but I turned that feature off. But I did press the S button. So it did save my chart. And now we're gonna look for Moon Scraper. Then we're gonna turn the regular drums into pro drums. Let's see. That looks to be it. Just a second. We might want to read the file. We're going to copy the file. Always use a backup because you never know when uh, something's gonna crash. You can name it something because Moonscraper likes to crash a lot, so you gotta really uh, make it easy for the program. So we're gonna name it DSF. No uh, special characters, no numbers, no anything in the in the file name. Just make it as simple as possible so the game won't crash. And here we are. the same song we've been working on so um, now it's gonna be a little bit different you gotta use the mouse this time and uh, we're gonna mark all the gimbals here which we're gonna do by clicking on the notes and then pressing C and you have to do this with every single note so, um, so if you want to take a break after charting the song Perfectly fine. You can like you can do this later when you're having a, you know you can just watch a YouTube video or something while you're charting. It doesn't take a lot of effort. You just make sure you're doing the right things and not uh, messing up the chart. But uh, this is just manual labor at this point. There's no real. Uh, it's a little trick here, but you don't want to use it too much because it's going to deselect your... Uh, you, you can see we have a bunch of yellow notes in a row, so we hold the shift button and then we click on this and then we click on the furthest and then we go to the side and click on Kimples here. Then it's going to edit all six notes. 
will you know, keep doing that, but then the keyboard shortcut doesn't work anymore for some reason. And uh, you can't do it like this because it's gonna select all the notes instead of just the yellow notes. So you gotta, when there are other things in a way, you gotta click on all the notes. It's gonna take a while, but uh, then we're gonna have a finished chart, so it's a bit exciting. If you have in doubt uh, anything, you can always just uh, press the space to listen. another thing you gotta be careful of if you are if you're dragging the mouse while you're clicking on the notes you can move it around but you already have it in the correct position so you don't want to do that if you do end up making a mistake it's uh, control c 
Fuck, dude. Here we have uh, some Adobe Base. So now we're gonna show off a new feature. We're gonna turn this into a double base section. It could be a heel toe, but uh, if we press the X button, we get a 2x thing there. But to be honest, we don't really need it for two hits. We can just leave it at this as is. But I just wanted to show the feature. Like if you have a double base section, then you can use the X button, it's like the Kimball's, press the C. And with the base you press X. It's the same concept. Maybe what double base is gonna do, it's gonna, if you only have uh, one base panel, it's gonna hide the double base notes. So, uh, so you can still play it without the expensive setup.
that should be it. We're gonna look through it one more time just to make sure there are no new errors. But it should be fine, but uh, you can always make sure and you can always save your progress and make sure it's an easy to understand file name. If you don't have any difficult symbols in it, don't have any uh, pretty much just give it a a short simple file name just characters nothing else just let us know uh, no punctuation marks or anything because uh, the program is gonna crash and then you're gonna lose what you've been working on the past 20 minutes okay but let's check it out I just saved the file so uh, whatever we have right now is uh, is saved Let's see if it's it's good.
kind of forgot about it but uh, another trick you can use when you're previewing the song you can simply up the speed so it's gonna make it a bit easier you don't have to sit through the full six minutes of the song <laughs> perfectly fine to me we uh, already saved the chart we didn't change anything so uh, there you have it now we have a chart we can uh, you can send it to your friends you can uh, make a chart preview video of it or you could play it yourself it's the finished product and, uh, and there you go if you have any questions just uh, leave them in the comments and I'll see if what I can do. <laughs>